If you've been using SolidWorks for a while, I'm sure view manipulation is something that's second nature to you. We're all familiar with zooming in and out by rolling the middle mouse wheel, rotating the model by clicking and holding the middle mouse button, and panning using the middle mouse button while holding the control key. You probably also use the F key as a quick hotkey for zoom to fit, or by double clicking the middle mouse button. And you've most likely used the spacebar to access your standard and saved views. That said, there are still quite a few more ways to orient the model that might be faster and easier for you. One that I like to use a lot is the G key that opens and closes the magnifying glass. This lets you zoom in to make selections without losing the rest of the model in the graphics area. This is great when you're working in assemblies and want to avoid manually zooming in and out for each selection. But if you'd rather zoom in and out on the whole model, you can hold Shift along with the middle mouse button to zoom. Another little known way to zoom in and out is by simply pressing the Z key to zoom out. And to zoom in, you can use Shift plus Z on the keyboard. Have you ever wanted to rotate the model clockwise or counterclockwise? You can do this by holding the Alt key along with the middle mouse button to rotate about the center of the screen. You can also do this with the arrow keys on the keyboard. Now you probably already know that the arrow keys by themselves rotate the model. But if you hold down Shift with the arrows, it rotates the model in 90 degree increments. But if you again hold down the Alt key, along with the left and right arrow buttons, you can spin the model clockwise and counterclockwise. While we're talking about keyboard shortcuts, did you know the number keys activate standard views when you press them along with the control key? Control 1's the front view, Control 2's the back view, and so on. I don't always remember which standard view corresponds to each number, but I do always remember that Control 7 is the isometric view. This one's handy because I can quickly tell which model faces correspond to the front, top, and right views. And as of SOLIDWORKS 2010, you don't need to have anything pre-selected to look normal to. So if I want to look straight on with a particular face, I can rotate the model close to that view and look normal to it. By the way, normal to is control 8 on the keyboard. SOLIDWORKS 2010 also introduced mouse gestures. Once you get used to these, you may never go back to using the spacebar to access standard views. Just hold down the right mouse button and gesture up for the top view, down for the bottom view, right for the right view, and to the upper right for trimetric. Of course, the gesture menu is all customizable, but that's something we'll have to talk about in another time-saving tip. Thank you. This has been a SolidWorks time saver.